Hi everyone, so today we are going to do a five foot question. So this is BE6-6 and it uses a perpetual inventory system. So the first thing I do when I ask for a FIFO or an average cost formula is I make a chart. So I put the dates, the description, the purchases, cost of goods sold, and the ending inventory in a chart. On August 2nd, it said that we made purchases of 250 units at a unit cost of 70 each for a total cost of 17,500. So because it was a purchase, put that on the purchase side. So purchase 250, 70 each, 17,500. And because it's the only thing in our inventory, we just move it all to the end. We just drag it over. Then on, on August 3rd, it said we made purchases of 500 units with a unit cost of 100 each for a total cost of 50,000. So we write that there. August 3rd, put all that stuff in. And this is where five phone average costs differ. So we keep these very, very separate because we want to know what, what, what came into the ending inventory first. So we have our 250 units at 70 each for 17,500. And then we also have our 500 new units at $100 each for a total cost of 50,000. On August 10th, we made a sale of 300. So we want to use up all the older stuff first. So to get 300, we're going to use up our 250 at $70 each. Right there, 250 at 70. And because we are selling 300, then we have to take 50 from the $100 500 units. So we want 50 of the $100 units. 250 times 70 plus 50 times 100 is 22,500, which is our cost of goods sold here. Then in our ending inventory, we see, okay, what do we have left? Well, we have 500 plus 250 here, minus our 300 to get 450. And we know of those 450, they're all the 100 unit things. So that would be our unit cost. And 450 times 100 is 4,500. Okay, looks good. Then on August 15th, we made purchases of 900 units at a total cost, or a unit cost of $120 each to get a total cost of 108. You always just find the total cost by just multiplying units times unit cost. So now we're buying more things. So we say we made a purchase, 900 units, 120 each, total cost 108. And then in our ending inventory, we say, okay, we have the 450 units at 100 to get 45,000. Then we just have this new stuff, 900 units at $120 each to get 108,000. You might have seen in the textbook we put these together. You can put these together or keep them separate. And on August 25th, we made a sale of 325 units. Okay. So, oldest out first, first in, first out. So we take, we want to take from the $100 units. So we do 450 minus the 325. And we know those were each right at 100. So we do 325 times 100 to get 32,500. Then what's left in our inventory, ending inventory, is 450 minus 325 is 125 at 100 at 12,500. And then the August 15th stuff we didn't even touch, so we just put 900 at 120 to get a total cost of 108. Then here, you just add here, add here, add these down, add these down. And then for any inventory, we just look at what do we have right now. So 125 plus 900 is 1,025. 12,500 plus 108,000 is 120,500. Yeah. 